and to help us have this conversation, we have Global Affairs, Global Affairs Analyst Collins Owenke, and he's joining, on, joining us now to discuss this developing story. Um, many thanks to you for joining us on this hour, Mr. Owenke. What do you make of the emergence of a second whistleblower in the impeachment case against President Trump, uh, Trump and what's the implication of this? Well, the implication of uh, the second uh, whistleblower uh, coming out is uh, rather significant. It is significant because when the first whistleblower came up, uh, Donald Trump actually tried to play down uh, the significance, but also he began to punch some holes on the credibility of uh, the first whistleblower, and he held strong to the fact that uh, the first whistleblower uh, didn't appear to have first-hand knowledge, first-hand information of what transpired, that he had information that were passed down to him. Now, the second whistleblower, from uh, reports that we're getting, appears to be someone that is right within the White House who actually was privy to all the conversations as they took place. So this is uh, significant, and that actually pulls the raw away from the feet of um, Donald Trump, who can no longer uh, begin to punch holes on the, the, uh, the um, credibility so, of So, Mr. Uweke, do you think that this is a nail in the coffin here? This, is, this does it for President um, Trump? It's too early to um, make that conclusion, but... Um, I think it is fair to say that uh, this is a blow to uh, Donald Trump and his, and his camp. And indeed, this is uh, a very big boost to uh, the Democrats who have uh, been pursuing this um, impeachment uh, inquiry quite uh, vigorously. All right, we, we've also seen um, Republican senators speaking up. Uh, we've seen um, a senator representing Utah, uh, Mitch Romney. We've also seen a senator representing Nebraska, uh, Ben Sass. And then recently we saw um, a strong voice in one of the far-right uh, uh, media outlets in America. The president of um, Tucker Carlson also speaking up, and he says, I just want to quote him, he says, um, um, Donald Trump should not have been on the phone with a foreign head of state um, encouraging the country to investigate its political opponent. Um, there is no way to spin this as a good idea. Do you think now that there is a crack in the Republican wall? Um, we are not seeing a crack yet. We are beginning to see signs of uh, cracks. Mm. And I be believe you me, uh, this will heighten. This will heighten as more information come to the fore. And I believe that the Democrats are playing this uh, rather smart, rather intelligently by, you know, putting all their efforts right now at an inquiry. What it means is that the inquiry will turn out uh, more fast and um, even the hesitant uh, Republicans, even those who are strong supporters of, um, you know, Donald Trump, it will come to a point when they will find it very difficult, maybe even impossible, to support uh, Donald Trump, and then they will have to come out openly and speak against Donald Trump and begin to uh, support the uh, impeachment uh, move. So yes, uh, these uh, developments are rather significant. Um, I, I like that you said that it, um, Democrats are, are playing this out intelligently because we saw um, the impeachment of uh, President, uh, um, uh, President Clinton in 1998, December 1998, and we saw how that play, played out for the Republicans. Um, the lost elections in that year. Uh, how do you see this playing out for um, the Democrats, knowing that elections are coming in, in 2020? Well, um, politics is uh, a very, very uh, difficult thing to uh, you know, make uh, predictions on. Uh, but you see, there are some uh, very strong um, dissimilarities between the uh, Clinton impeachment and the evolving uh, Trump uh, impeachment. Now, you need to understand that um, Clinton was a very, very popular um, president. Uh, Donald Trump uh, has a base of approximately, um, you know, a support base, rather, of approximately uh, 40%. Now, um, that is going to win as more information uh, come up. So, yes, uh, there are signs that uh, the uh, President of the United States, uh, Donald Trump, is uh, in real trouble. All right, many thanks to you for joining, on this, joining us on this, uh, Mr. Collins Owenke.